I want you to imagine that it's 20 below zero outside. It's so cold that when you breathe in through your nose, your, your nose hair instantly freezes and crystallizes. There, there's snow falling, there's ice all over the ground, and, and you're extremely cold. Now, you got a coat in your hand, and you think to yourself, the one thing I have to do right now is I have got to get warm. Who among us would decide that it would be easier to light the world on fire to get warm instead of just putting on their coat? Good morning, everybody. My name is Ed Trevers. I'm an Anglican priest in the Diocese of Nova Scotia in Prince Edward Island. I get to serve in the beautiful town of Shelburne, Nova Scotia, in the awesome parish of Christ Church Shelburne that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. And today, I want to talk about taking care of ourselves as opposed to trying to make the entire world bend to our will. There's a Buddhist poem. And in that poem, the author says, Where would I find enough leather to cover the entire surface of the earth? But with leather soles beneath my feet, it's as if the whole world has been covered. The meaning to that is, when I walk bare feet over the surface of the world, I, cut my, I can cut my feet and I can stub my toes on all the things that are laying across the surface of the world. All the things that I may step on by mistake. All the things that I may have to traverse in order to get from one place to another. Now, one option is to cover the whole world with leather and walk on that. And then I won't stub my toe and I won't cut my feet and I won't step on sharp things and I'll be comfortable every step along my journey. The other, more simple, more realistic option is to put my shoes on. Right? That's the same as what I was saying. That's the, the, the same metaphor as what I offered with the cold. Yeah, to get warm, you could light the entire world on fire, but it would be much simpler just to put on your winter coat. Both will achieve the same thing. One will do it in a realistic manner. The other will do it actually in a really destructive manner. We walk through this world. We live in a world with millions and millions and millions of other souls, other people. We, ex we have experiences with people who have gone through a plethora of their own experiences, many of which we can never possibly understand or, or empathize with. We encounter people that are broken. We encounter people that are healthy. We encounter people that are, are new children. We encounter people that have been here a while, our seniors. Every person we encounter is new to us. Every person we encounter is an opportunity for us to stub our toe. It's an opportunity for us to cut our feet. It's an opportunity for us that we, we may end up being hurt. Now, we can, we can have those experiences with those people and we can demand that they deal with us and approach us and speak with us and, and, and interact with us in the ways that, that we need them to demand. We, we can demand that the entire world bend to our will. We can demand that the entire will behave the way we want them to behave. Or we can learn to flex. We can learn to develop strategies within ourselves to deal with all these people. We can learn to develop uh, coping mechanisms we can learn to develop thicker skin. We can learn to develop uh, a, a quicker response of empathy to all these numerous people, to all these numerous souls that we're going to encounter. 
that, that we could enjoy. Or we can demand that they all become something that they are not in order to keep us from being inconvenienced, discomforted, or hurt. The reasonable, easiest option is for us to seek ways to change ourselves, to better ourselves, to equip ourselves. Because the other option is, is actually a really destructive one to everyone you will encounter. The other option to demand that they all change. It does nothing but lead to inauthentic relationship. Dishonest relationship. Broken relationship. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. I pray that the Lord lifts up his countenance upon you and that you know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that you see the loving thing to do for those people that you encounter is to let them be themselves and to shift your own demands and your own expectations of them. Amen.